Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the codename Android ROM, CNA ROM on your Motorola Photon 4G. Uh, this is an AOSP based ROM ice cream sandwich based, made to emulate stack ice cream sandwich with some added tweaks. First of all, shout out to Spleef for porting this ROM over for us, shout out to him. Um, nice work there. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM. Definitely going to want to check that out. I'll link to it in the description of the video. But anyways, here we go. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Right away you get two launcher options, CND launcher and Trebuchet. Both of them do have some added tweaks. Uh, they're both very similar as they're both basically the stock launcher just with a couple added tweaks. But let's go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and as you can see it's Android version 4.0.4 .4, right there, 4.0.4. Uh, build number IMM76D, codename Android right there. So we got codename Android, ROM uh, going on, Android version 4.0.4. .4. Uh, overall though, obviously stock ice cream sandwich theme to it. So up at the top we got our blue clock, blue uh, battery icon, blue 3G icon. Let's go ahead and swipe down. You'll see basically got the stock ice cream sandwich uh, um, notification pull down bar. It is dark. It is somewhat transparent. You do have a little settings button that takes you straight into settings, of course. So nice to have that little uh, little settings button there. But here we go. So let's go ahead and jump into more things. We've got basically um, all our stock ice cream sandwich apps, browser, calculator, calendar, camera, etc. Um, camera works. I mean, everything pretty much does work. Let's go ahead and snap a picture real quick. As you can see, took a picture. Um, but anyways, the only bug there really is, of course you don't have 4G since your bootloader is locked and your bootloader needs to be unlocked to flash this ROM, but the only bug is that uh, MMS does not work with the stock messaging application, but it does work with any um, messaging app found in the market. So you can go ahead and download and install Go SMS from the Play Store, and uh, you can use that for MMS only. Otherwise, you can just use the stock messaging application for your text messages. Uh, you do have the nice ice cream sandwich dialer going on right here. Um, so I'm dialer, sorry, keyboard. A, a nice ice cream sandwich keyboard is one of my favorites. Um, it works very well, um, the prediction and such. So uh, overall, just a, a really good uh, keyboard going on. Um, as I showed you, stock ice cream sandwich camera, you got the stock calculator, you have ice cream sandwich calendar as well. So as you can see, a uh, nice calendar going on. Um, you also have a couple of other things, of course. You got a nice ice cream sandwich theme dialer that you can swipe in between your contacts, call logs, and the dialer itself. Nice uh, blue theme, the nice uh, ice cream sandwich blue, anyway. Um, stock uh, ice cream sandwich browser, you'll, as you can see, it'll sign me in. I'm on 3G, so my guess is it'll be very slow. Um, that loaded up pretty quickly, actually. Um, but uh, overall nice browser. You can use Chrome Beta, I do believe. You can find that in the Play Store as well if you want to try out that uh, that application. Nice uh, browser there. But uh, runs great. Seems to be very smooth with the browser browsing experience. Let's go ahead and try acsyndicate.net. Um, load up a substantial web page and see what uh, what it looks like. While it's loading up, oh, it lo loaded up not too bad, so it looks like 3G is not not going all that bad, but overall loads up great. No checkerboarding, no issues with the the browser at all. Looks very good. So nice there. Um, press and hold on the home button, and you actually get uh, recent apps, running apps list right here. You can swipe away if you want to exit out of them or remove them from your list. So nice there that we got that uh, that option going on. Let's go ahead and go back into our settings. We do have some specific settings uh, for the code name settings. We have an interface option, which is basically you've got a bunch of different settings. Power menu, power menu being uh, when you press and hold the power button, I do believe. So um, let's go ahead and hit show torch toggle, show reboot menu. So press and hold the power button again. As you can see, Torch Toggle popped right on up, so Torch right there. As you can see, Torch works very well when you uh, turn it on. So nice there that we have uh, have all those options. I believe press and hold the home, the power button will turn it off as you can see there. Uh, so other than power menu though, we have notification widget, which would be up here in the no notification where you can swipe away your notifications or click on them to go to them, of course. 
but go to show power widget and as you can see up the top you'll see that uh, power widgets up here have just appeared um, which I know some people do like to have that so uh, you can edit them as well so you go to widget buttons and you have different buttons that you can toggle you can pretty much choose pick and choose whichever ones you want so if I wanted to toggle toggle screen timeout and orientation those will actually get added you can uh, actually slide up here depending on how many you have on so that's nice you can also change the order go to widget button order and you can change your order just go on the left side here and change uh, the order of them which of course is great uh, battery widget um, battery icon style you have icon only let's go ahead and check out uh, some other ones so you got icon only text only so as you can see you got uh, just the text you have icon with text icon with center text circle mod right there and we also have hide so why would you want to hide it that would be because of the battery bar so let's go ahead and do that as you can see up at the top popped up a battery bar that basically tells you what your battery life's at mine's at 42 percent so only 42 percent of the top is filled up like you have a couple options as well with the battery bar clock widget you can uh, change your clock clock style you can have it be on the right you can have it put it in the center as you can see right there and pm as well uh, you also have signal options, uh, lock screen style options. So right away you have basically the stock lock screen, stock ice cream sandwich lock screen being um, your camera shortcut and your unlock shortcut. So you got those two options. Uh, let's go ahead and go check out our other options for our lock screen actually. So you have um, lock screen styles, number of targets. So right now we have the stock number of targets. Let's go ahead and hit four, unlock right. So now four targets should pop up. So you see now by default uh, the messaging and dialer options pop up. So now we got four options going on. You can uh, have up to eight, I believe, and you can. Ch uh, so you got four, six, or eight. Your options of custom application shortcuts. Um, you can customize them, as you can see right here. You can customize as many as you want down there. You also have you have navigation and lock screen options. So you have other lock screen options being press the menu button to unlock, lock screen rotation, volume wake, etc. And navigation bar, uh, menu vi menu visibility. I believe navigation bar is the Galaxy Nexus bar down at the bottom with your home back. Um, and recent running apps buttons, uh, automatic back, backlight for display settings, rotations and animations, pulse notification light and general settings as well. Um, you can have it be horizontal recent apps window if you want to try that. Press and hold the home button and now they are horizontal. You can swipe up and down to exit out of your application. So if you like that instead of the vertical, you can change that, which is nice. Um, you also that's that's pretty much it within your interface settings and you also have performance settings so um, you can change your processor speed I do believe you can have it uh, be less I believe stocks 1 gigahertz or a thousand megahertz you can put it back to stock it's overclocked by default to 1.3 gigahertz 1300 megahertz so just know that um, you have a couple other ones just make sure you're careful with these and make sure you know what you're doing when you mess with those you have profiles quiet hours and launcher settings so you have some launcher settings such as auto rotate and some transition effects I'm not going to go too much in depth with those scroll down you have advanced testing as well you have build prop settings square parts development and testing i'm not really going to go into those but just be careful if you don't know what you're doing don't mess with any of these you got lcd density wi-fi scan interval um, just a bunch of other different ones that you can mess with, but proceed with caution when uh, messing with any of these settings, of course. Uh, otherwise, with our launcher, you have a folder option, of course. You, you just drop t apps on top of each other, and it uh, will just create a folder for you, as you can see right there. So nice there that you have that option going on. You have uh, widgets, so when you go to your app tour, you got your apps right here, and then you got widgets over here. Some are scrollable, some are resizable, so drop it on there. Um, you'll see that the bookmarks one is scrollable so you can scroll through there pick it up drop it back down and you can resize them um, however you want so very nice there some of them that's only with the ice cream sandwich launcher only some of them will work um, but yeah other than that in your lock screen another thing I wanted to point out is that you can pull down your notification bar while your screen is locked so a lot of people don't know about that but you can do that go back into settings let's go into security 
and go into screen lock and you do have face unlock so you can use face unlock if you'd like to I'm not gonna set it up because the camera will be in the way anyway so you've got face unlock going it does work very well on the photon so um, nice that you have that option but really that's about it that's everything I wanted to cover on the codename Android ROM of course no 4G as I said earlier but really other than that uh, you'll make sure you install a third-party SMS application from the market such as go SMS to get your MMS working your picture messaging, but everything else is going to work great as you can see I'm on 3G right now So that's working very well um, but Yeah, that's it. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video below Be sure to subscribe to me follow me on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus All links will be in the description of the video below and as always thanks for watching Be sure to give this video a thumbs up